So you've been searching for the best massage gun, you've probably narrowed it down to the two most popular brands that are out there, whether it's the Hypervolt by Hyperize or the Theragun Prime. Well, in this video, I'll be sharing my three top benefits and features of each one so you can ultimately decide which one you should purchase. So let's get right to it. What's up everybody, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So to start off with the Theragun, I actually bought this for my brother's birthday and when he opened it, the first thing that we realized was the premium feel. Out of the box, it just felt like this was something that was really worth the money that we spent for it. Um, if you tell that the materials that this is made out of was definitely well thought, and I definitely felt like this probably belonged in some physical therapy office, to be completely honest with you. Comparatively, if you look at the Hypervolt, I mean, it's pretty solid, but it just kind of had a cheaper feel to me, almost like a toy or I guess a knockoff type brand. And I think I've seen probably a ton of knockoff looking brands that look like this. So I think in comparison, this just felt and looked a little bit more premium to me. And the second thing that I loved about the Theragun Prime was the size and ergonomics of it. So. It's definitely different than your typical massage gun. It has this triangular type handle, which is super useful and very versatile in terms of getting different areas of your body. So depending on where you hold it, you can get different areas of your lower back, your upper back, behind your shoulders, behind your hamstrings, and just being able to have the different handles is just super helpful in terms of getting all those different crevices that you might have not been able to get with just a standard massage gun. Especially when you look at the Hypervolt where it's just kind of like a stick type format where really you can just hold it like this. Sometimes I've been creative and try to like hold it like this on my back, but I just felt that, you know, this is just so much more versatile holding different handles and everything. So if I was traveling, I probably would want to use this one. And they actually give you a pouch too to put this in. So I love that and was kind of disappointed that I didn't get one with the Hypervolt. And then the third and final benefit that I loved about the Theragun Prime was the power. Now, there might be some debate around this because of the fact on the internet, you'll see that the Hypervolt has around 3,200 percussions, which is basically how much this ball goes in and out per minute versus the Theragun Prime, which is around 2,400 uh, percussions. Even though it was fast, Faster, I felt that the Theragun Prime just got a lot deeper and I felt like my muscles were really getting a good deep tissue massage and honestly after around two minutes three minutes of using it I felt like my body was a lot more mobile and loose versus the Hypervolt where I really felt like I had to put a lot of effort in and you know add a little bit more intensity to it now moving on to the Hypervolt one of the first things that I loved about it was the fact that it came with five different attachments that serve different purposes so you have the standard flat one which was really good for all around use and then you have the ball one which was really good for bigger muscle groups if you're thinking like your glutes your thighs and then also the fork one which was really good for getting those really delicate areas like the hands the feet the forearm the calves and then also the layered cushion one which was really good for the neck and the traps and then finally the bullet one which was really good at getting those smaller muscles and getting in between those really hard to get areas and this was better than the theragun which did come with four different attachments however those attachments were very very similar to each other which which again, it's not bad, but I just think that having the versatility and having different heads that serve different purposes is super helpful. The second thing that I loved about the Hypervolt was actually the app itself. So I think Hypervolt kind of edged out on this one. So it starts off with what they call the Hyper Smart Score, which is basically where the app takes all the different health data and it takes all that information and it recommends a routine for you. And just to be able to have that customization based off of my day-to-day -day activity was super useful. It also had a vast library of different routines. I just felt that the Theragun one was a little bit limited to its selection. And I didn't think that they added more, but just the two weeks that I was using the Hypervolt, they had added like two or three routines that were from specific athletes, which I think is super cool to see exactly what athletes are doing um, in terms of their recovery and their maintenance process. However, I will give Theragun at least a couple bonus points because of the fact that the app is Bluetooth operated. So you could basically control your Theragun through your phone and go through a routine and it'll adjust the speed, adjust the intensity while you're going at it. And the third and final thing that I loved about the Hypervolt was that it was quieter. To be completely honest, the Theragun is not that quiet. Like whatever they put on their website of somebody sleeping next to somebody using it is a complete lie. Like it is super loud. Like. That's a pretty big difference in sound. And like for me, 
I think having something that's quiet, especially like living in New York where you have an apartment and it's not like you're just drilling something is can make you a little bit self-conscious and not really want to use the device. So the Hypervolt uses some sort of quiet glide technology that makes it to where it's, it's not really loud at all. But for the Theragun, I try to use it during the day because it's just super loud and it's kind of irritating. So that basically wraps up my top three benefits and features for each device. Now you might be wondering, Noah, which one do you recommend? Which one should I buy? For me, a couple of big things that were important were definitely getting to those hard to reach spots and also having a device that was super powerful where I felt like I was getting a deep tissue massage. With that being said, I personally would recommend for those uses, the Theragun. I say that because of the fact that I think the ergonomics of the handle are just game changing and the fact that like you're getting this device to get into all different areas of your body and I feel like this is the easiest way to do it and then also the power like you, you're getting a massage gun to really get a deep massage and help your muscles to recover and loosen up and I just feel like the power on this device is just so much better now don't get me wrong the hypervolt is a great device like I said I love how quiet it is and I actually think it's a lot more mainstream which is why you probably see a lot of third party of these out there they just signed a partnership with the NBA so you probably see them throughout the whole bubble during the playoffs so they're very very popular but I think for the purposes of getting a massage gun to really get that quality type feel that's the Theragun for me, to be completely honest. But I gotta give this back to my brother. I'm returning this one, and I'm actually gonna be purchasing the Theragun Elite. That one is quieter than this one. It comes with an extra attachment, and it is a lot more powerful. So for you guys, I think if you're wanting a very high quality premium device that will help you get a deep tissue massage, I will get this one. If you want something that will just get the job done, but you like the fact that it has different attachments and that it's quieter, then I would go for the Hypervolt. They each serve their different purposes. They have their pros, they have their cons, but honestly, my recommendation is just get a massage gun, 100%. Like, I don't think there's been a week where I haven't used one. They just are super great for getting more recovery, circulating your blood and your muscles before you're working out, and also great for recovery after your workouts. And yeah, just definitely recommend that you get one. So question of the day, which of the two would you purchase, the Theragun Prime, or the Hypervolt, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!